So you might have noticed in digital circuits that we're always connecting NMOS transistors to ground and PMOS transistors, we seem to always be connecting to VDD. And so why is this? And is this the only way to do things? So to answer this question, we're briefly gonna review transistor theory. So if we have an NMOS transistor, and let's say it is connected to ground for now, the NMOS has three terminals, a gate, a drain, and a source. And in order to be on, that transistor needs the voltage from the gate to the source to be greater than the threshold voltage of that transistor. And the transistor is off if the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage. For PMOS transistors, it's a very similar story. So if we have our PMOS transistor, which I've drawn, and I've drawn the NMOS here without the arrow. Sometimes you'll see it with this little arrow. Sometimes you'll see it without. I've drawn this PMOS transistor here, and let's connect it to VDD, just like we always do. And here we've got a gate. So in a PMOS transistor, holes flow from the source, which is on the top, to the drain, which is on the bottom of the transistor. And in order for the, this transistor to be on, we need the source to gate voltage to be greater than the magnitude of the threshold voltage. So conventionally PMOS threshold voltages are said to be negative. And for the transistor to be off, we need the source to gate voltage to be less than the threshold voltage, or let's say less than or equal to the threshold voltage. And so here's a question, what happens when we try to connect an NMOS to VDD? And so let's, let's start there. So if we, instead of connecting it to ground, if we connected our NMOS to VDD up here, what happens, first of all, and let's call this down here the output, what happens when we connect this transistor, when we connect its input to, uh, let's say, zero volts? So we're, we connect the input to ground, in other words. What is the output? Um, well, in this case, the transistor is off because the gate to source voltage, regardless of what the output is, it's not going to be lower than zero volts. So the gate to source voltage is always going to be less than zero, and this transistor is going to be off. And so this, this behaves exactly as we would expect in NMOS2 when the input is zero. But what about when the input is equal to VDD? So let's say our input now is equal to VDD. And this is our output as before. Well, in order for the transistor to be on, remember we need that VGS has to be greater than the threshold voltage. And VGS here is just a VDD minus the output voltage. This has to be greater than the threshold voltage which means that the output voltage can only be less than VDD minus the threshold voltage for the transistor to be on. In other words, the maximum output voltage, the maximum output voltage is VDD minus the threshold voltage, because if our output voltage gets any higher than that, then the transistor is off. And so we say that an NMOS transistor cannot pass VDD. In other words, if we have VDD at the input, we cannot have VDD at the output. We can have at most VDD minus the threshold voltage. Now, what about the PMOS? Well, if we draw our PMOS, and let's say that now we have it connected to ground, instead of having it connected to VDD, and we call this the output. Similarly, we've got our gate here, we've got our drain here, and we've got our source here. So in a PMOS, the source is always at a higher voltage than the drain. And in order to have this transistor be on, we need the source to gate voltage has to be greater than the threshold voltage, or greater than the magnitude of the threshold voltage. And this transistor is off if the source to gate voltage is less than 
or equal to the magnitude of the threshold voltage. So what happens if we connect this transistor to VDD? We connect its input to VDD. So V in equals VDD. Well, then our source to gate voltage is just the output voltage minus the gate voltage. That's just V out minus VDD. And V out can't get any bigger than VDD. So VSG is at most zero. So VSG is always going to be less than zero. And this means that the transistor is off, which is what we'd expect. If we apply VDD to the input of a PMOS, the transistor should be off. But now what happens when we connect this transistor to ground? So we connect V in is equal to zero volts. Well, in this case, VSG is equal to our output voltage minus zero, which is you know, just the output voltage. And, but in order for the transistor to be on, we need, remember, the VSG to be greater than VT. So we need the output to be greater than the threshold voltage. And what this means is that the minimum output that our PMOS can give and still be on is equal to the magnitude magnitude of the threshold voltage. And so for this reason, we say that PMOSs cannot pass zeros, cannot pass zeros. If I connect zero at the input, I'm not going to get zero at the output. I'm going to get a larger voltage. And so this is why we don't usually connect PMOSs to ground in this way. So PMOSs are good at passing ones, but they cannot pass zeros. And similarly, NMOSs cannot pass VDD, but they're very good at passing zeros. So just to hammer this home, let's try and make a hypothetical gate out of an NMOS and a PMOS in sort of the wrong orientation. So the PMOS is on the bottom, the NMOS is on the top. Let's say that this is our input, this is ground, this is VDD. Sorry, this is ground, this is VDD. Now, when our input voltage is equal to zero volts, ideally, we'd like the output voltage, so this is our output voltage, for this gate, we'd like our output voltage to be zero, but instead, our output voltage is equal to the threshold voltage because the PMOS can, this output voltage cannot get any lower than the threshold voltage, uh, or this PMOS will turn off and both of our transistors will be off. Similarly, when our input voltage is equal to VDD, our PMOS is off and our NMOS is sort of on, and so the output voltage is going to be at most VDD minus the threshold voltage. And so we've made a really bad, a really bad gate. Because not only are the inputs not equal to either one or zero, they're equal to one minus the threshold voltage or VDD minus the threshold voltage. And similarly, they're equal to the threshold voltage of the PMOS, magnitude of the threshold voltage. So this is a really bad idea. And this is why we always connect NMOSs to ground and PMOSs to VDD. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, Click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.